Hello everybody and welcome to Star Made. We are working on the development build version 19204. This is Fuse MC. Today we're going to take a look at this. This is a 21 meter tall robotic hand. It's controlled by, let me see, we've got 23 logic circuits in there using 40 wireless. We have 12 joints and it actually should have uh, five more joints which would come up to another 10, 15 circuits and a whole lot more wireless. And uh, it's completely controllable, completely programmable. Let me show you the uh, controls over here. It's a little bit uh, kind of read well a little complicated well it's not really complicated it's actually really simple but whoop. yeah they do hyperextend the other way Let's see there we have the finger going down and it will go down this finger each joint will rotate anywhere from 0 to 45 deg uh, 90 degrees in uh, 45 degree intervals so, yeah, let's go ahead and put that one up. Now, to demonstrate it, I put together a program here. Um, this is basically a timer program to initiate a sequ sequence of actions uh, created by the hand. And that's basically just to demonstrate that it is programmable. Keep in mind, this... Uh, does look a little chaotic and I don't know what those are. Oh, I was doing an experiment with that. Okay. Um, it does look a little chaotic. Uh, this can be condensed down. Um, so can the hand um, to keep everything proportionate and everything and the joints working properly I kind of uh, went ahead and made it larger than necessary and uh, this should probably be a part one in a series of robotics that I do I'm actually gonna start working on the arm next so we should have a fully functioning arm this is the right hand and we'll start on the right arm after this but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll initiate this program. And uh, yeah, I got an on off switch. Now um, this is a, like I said, a timer based program just to initiate a sequence of events. Uh, due to the uh, uh, update, this is actually, the movement is kind of glitchy and uh, so it's not real smooth like it has been. Now, they also implemented mass. Mass affects the rotation. It's knocking there. And this is a continuous loop program. So it's going to do the same things over and over again as long as we allow it. And then we can just deactivate it by doing that so it'll go through the whole sequence and then that will terminate at the end of the program all right now taking a look at the mass now if you saw the video previously on this um, it spun fast as hell as you can see now, it's spinning slower, and that is due to the mass, I believe. Um, because if you take something such as this with little to no mass, it will spin almost continuously at a lot rap more rapid pace. So, yeah, I think they implemented that. And that still works fine, so that's mass isn't slowing that down too much 
But now when there is an update, they are on 19207. And uh, when I updated to that version, this basically broke. So I'm going to have to reconfigure it to work with that one. Okay, well that is about it for now. Hopefully I'll have an update on this soon. And uh, let me get this converted over for or reconfigured for the update. Bye-bye. So,